my vlog channel which I will link right here if you guys want to go check it it's my mother and son channel and I was thinking of doing story times because I like them and you know if I have a story to tell why not so recently I had to buy running shoes for my son because he's growing and the temperatures changing so now it's time to leave the sandals and start a bit with the running shoes so I decided to bring them to Walmart because I knew that at Walmart there was Flash Me Queen shoes so if you know my son if you check the vlog channel you'll notice my son loves Flash Me Queen and he <laughs> cannot get enough of it. So I've decided to go there and I told him, you know, if he was nice and he was listening and he was, you know, we'd get in and out with the shoes on top of I wanted personally to get him new Flash McQueen toys. We went in the toy section and I found him toys. And I was really happy of the way he got there without asking me like everything. Like it's crazy. I guess it's the age, but he is happy with what I get him all the time and proud mommy. So I go to the cash because he's wearing the shoes now. So I put the toys there and she scans the toys and then she goes, do you want a bag with that? And I'm like, no, it's fine, because I have my purse. So I'm thinking I'm just going to flip it in, you know? And, you know, like I most of the time I do, I just pay, put in my purse and leave, because why get a bag when you can just, it's just like little toys. So she puts it beside. I have no idea where she put it at this point. Like, I do not know. And then, so I didn't touch them. She scanned them, and she put them somewhere. And then I go, and then she presses, and, you know, she's like pretty much pressing total or something. So I grab my son, and I'm like, there's one more thing. And then I just put his feet right near her and she goes big she scans them and I put my son on the floor and then she gives me the total so I take the money and I'm like wow I thought I had more money in my wallet than that that's weird oh yeah I spent you know that's I I'm thinking just to, to put you in kind of the mindset that I was right now so I'm like oh okay so I pay I give her money she gives me change and then I put the change back and then I put the receipt in my wallet which is like a kind of a closey thingy so by now it doesn't close so I just close the thing and I put it there in my wallet and I look at my pussy puss which only has the little you know shoes that my son wore when we came in the store it's not a puss puss sorry it's um the cart so I push the cart by now I'm like well I'm not gonna push the cart until outside so I'm take the shoes push it by the side of the door take my son's hand and we leave and I'm like oh your shoes are so beautiful and I'm like I hope you're happy and all that and they're little flashing lights so he's walking and they're like lights lights and he's super proud and I'm like oh that's so fun so I get in my car and I leave I I get to my house and I'm like where are the toys where are the toys so I look at my purse I'm like no I didn't put them in my purse I'm like are you serious I left them there and I'm like maybe I don't remember putting them in my car but I'm pretty sure I didn't so I go to my car and I look everywhere and I come back in and I look at my purse again and I'm like look I know I forgot them so I don't know how much I can look for them I know they're not there I take the receipt so then I take my phone and I call a girl answers hi <laughs> I paid for something I paid for toys for my son and I left them there. And she's like, yes, I'll go check right now. And she go, she's like, what, you know, what number, what, um, what station was it? And I'm like, it, it was three. So she goes to three and she comes back and she's like, yes, I'm sorry, they, they aren't there. And I, I remember you and you, you took them. When you left, they were gone. I'm like, look, they're not here. I don't have them. I know I forgot them there. So can you maybe like check if someone took it? Like maybe, you know, another cashier took it and put it somewhere else or maybe uh, another client took it maybe they're in you know the cart that I left by the side of the door and she's like no they're not by the side of the door and they're not there no one took it you took them I remember when you left they were gone I was like look I remember and then I told her exactly what I told you so you took the thing and you put them somewhere right beside you and I don't know where because if I didn't know where then I would have taken them right but I don't know where you put them you could have put them bad you could have put them on the thing and she's like well I put them right beside the cash and I'm like okay well I didn't know that because I didn't notice you putting them there reason if I didn't notice that is how I forgot them you know like makes sense right if I don't know where you put them that's how I forgot them because I didn't see them but then I go and then I took my son and I made you scan the thing and I paid I put the receipt and I left I didn't take the toys so if they were in my cart, if you put them in my cart, they're by the side of the door. But if you didn't put them there, if you put them beside the cash, then they should be there unless someone took them. And she's like, no, you took them. Uh, look, I swear I didn't take the toys. I have a two-year-old right beside me right now crying for his toys and I don't have them and I paid for them. And she's like, well, they're not there. I get that they're not there, but I don't have them. So someone else took them or someone put them somewhere else. And she's like, no, I'm pretty sure you took them. And I'm like, are you calling me a liar? And she's like, no, that's not what I'm saying, but 
you know, they're not there. I'm like, I get they're not there, but they're somewhere else and they're not in my house. So can you help me? Like maybe you look at the camera or like, you know, ask people around you that work there also. She's like, well, we can't do that. But you know, they're not there and uh, no one else took them. Like no one else. And she's just assuming by now that no one else took them because she will not go and ask people. So then I got mad. Okay, this girl is calling me a liar. She is like telling me that I'm trying to get something free or something. Thing. And I'm just like, look, I paid for these toys and I don't have them. Like, why would I be calling you if I would have these toys? Honestly. And I remember exactly what I did. So by now, she just keep repeating like, you know, pretty much the same things like blah, 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 blah. Like she's being a by now, she's just being impolite. She keeps repeating herself, saying that I took them, that they're not there. She doesn't want to do anything for me. She doesn't want to listen to me. You know, there's nothing to do with her. So I said, you know, pass me the manager because I was going to do it anyway because I knew this was going nowhere. So then she goes, wow. <laughs> and she puts me on hold. I am boiling right now. I paid $20 for toys. I do not have them and I remember exactly what I did. And she has the nerve to go, wow. As if I'm being, as if I was the one who was being, I don't know, as if I was wrong. Am I wrong guys? No I'm not. Cause you know what happened? The manager goes, hello. And then I tell you exactly what I said again, really nicely. I said, look, I came in, I gave her my toy, she scanned them, she put them somewhere I don't know where. And then I, you know, passed my, my, my son, she scanned the shoes, gave her money, put the receipt in my, and the change in my wallet, and I left. And I'm like, I came here, I don't have my toys, my son is really disappointed, and I paid for them, and you know, like blah blah blah. She goes, okay, so what's the time that you pass by? So I give her the time. She's like, let me look at the camera and get back to you. My face. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, I wish that other girl was on the phone listening, or I wish I could just go back to that girl after and be like, no, not even there. That wasn't even the best part. The best part is when she called me back after. But she's like, okay, so I'll look at the camera and I'll get back to you. Calls me back. So I looked at the camera and yeah, you didn't leave with them. Another cashier took them and put them somewhere else. I wish that girl was on the phone listening or was there. I was like, oh my god, thank you so much for, for doing that for me. Like I know I didn't take them. I, I knew I wasn't crazy. I like I can't believe like how impolite that girl was to me and how like, you know, I, I forget. Toys, I pay them for, for them, and then she's just pretty much calling me a liar. And she's like, No, 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 no. And she's, I don't know what she was saying, but whatever. She was trying, to, I wasn't being like rude or anything. I was just keeping my calm and staying, you know, because I don't need that. You know, I just want to, just wanted the toys. And I knew they were the only one. And that's what I told the girl. I'm like, Look, if, if they're gone, if they're not there, it was the only toys left exactly of that one. So I was like, eh, Please. I decided to go right back to the store um, after supper, got the toys. You have no idea how much I wanted to see that girl and be like, look, look, you see those? I forgot them, huh? But you know, I was just passing the toys going, is she there? I think that's her, I think that's her. I hope she turns around and looks at me. Worst thing was that I had got stuff in my hand before I got back the toys and I was like so into like, where is she? I hope she sees me. Then I left with stuff in my hand without paying. Oh my gosh. So I passed the first door and I'm like da 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 and I'm about to pass the second door because you know that there's like two doors usually. And I go, oh, whoa. <laughs> I was about to go to the cash where I'm pretty sure it was the girl who did that to me. But timing, she left. I guess it was her break or something. So close the cash and she left. She didn't even have time to see me. Do you know how disappointed I was? Kinda, yeah. So I paid and left. But this is my story and I hope you guys like it. In any way, I'm not trying to be mean to the to the store, to anyone. It's just, I guess, you know, she could have been having a bad day or something or she's just like that. I don't know. Maybe she didn't like my vibe. I don't know. But, you know, I just wanted to do a little story time because these are awesome. If you want to see more of me, go to my vlog channel. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, see you next time.